Do you know that you can make over $100 a day from your own backyard? I'm going to share with you over five different ways. If you watch till the end, I'll have a bonus two different ways that you can make money from your backyard. All right, first thing to consider is how big is your backyard? This will decide which ones you're going to actually apply. A lot of you who call yourself homesteaders probably have a pretty good backyard. So it is more than just a place to look at and you should be taking advantage of all the ways that you can make money on it. There's so many. We're going to list at least five. Number one, the first way that you can use your backyard is camping. You might not realize this, but campsites are very expensive. Have you ever gone camping? And just to stay a night at a campsite could run you anywhere from $50 to uh, $200, depending on where you are. So an average campsite goes around $150. I know what you're saying, but my backyard isn't big enough for camping. Well, this applies for those who do have a big enough backyard. What about lawsuits? What about problems? Don't worry. You can have waivers signed before you have anyone there. No problem. Now, the best place to list a campsite would be on Airbnb. People look there all the time for campsites. What you need to provide depends on you. You can just provide a piece of land or you can provide a land and some tents and some sleeping bags or you can provide a land and some tents and some sleeping bags and a fire pit and an outhouse you know it depends on you and how much you want from this campsite how much money and what you're willing to provide and what you want so first for number one go to airbnb and look up campsites in your area you might be surprised to find there aren't any campsites in your area which is a good thing that means that you can charge whatever you like there are more than just Airbnb that you can list your campsite on. You can go to travel sites, Travelocity, and you can even make your own website and list it on there. Airbnb is really popular place to put a campsite, so I recommend starting there first. Depending on what you want to offer, you can have a really, really nice setup here for making a lot of money. If you have an extra acre or even a half an acre, I would suggest trying this camping this is a very nice option and make you way more than $100 a day. Depending on what you want to offer, some people even have campsites that are almost $1,000 a day. You know, sometimes they include, uh, they call it glamping. So they have a glamorous uh, campsite with a nice huge tent and a real bed and furniture in it. They offer like meals and, um, you know, a room service type or whatever you know, make it nice and kind of fancy, they get a lot of money for that. So depending on where you are and what you want to offer, you can get a lot from these little campsites. And if you go through Airbnb, they do have a lot of protection for you and also for your guests. So if any problems can arise and you can always make your own waivers and things just to be on the safe side. So no problems in the future. Very great option for making a ton of money, well over $100 a day from your backyard. All right, let's look at option number two. Very exciting one because this one doesn't have to do with people actually staying on your land. This is tours. Tours, what do I mean by tours? There are lots and lots of ways that you can take this. So a uh, good place first, we're gonna start off with where do you put a tour? Well, there are several places good for tours. If you just type it in on Google, you will see lots of places that you can list tours and activities. TripAdvisor, Airbnb, uh, those are some of the big ones that you can list activities and tours and things like this on. You can even do it locally on Facebook, um, Craigslist, those places are also free. So there's lots of places if you feel like tours is something you might wanna go for. And okay, we're thinking who would want to tour my backyard? Well, you'd be surprised. A lot of people live in the city and want to just get some escape. So they like to have these little options. So you might offer something like maybe you have a, maybe you have a half acre to an acre. You planted a little garden on it. Um, you can offer a tour of your garden 
and at the end of the tour they get a little food tasting maybe you're going to offer something or maybe you can offer them a little plant to take home or a seed packet or just give a little story about your garden or your farm people like these little storytellings and they they enjoy it another idea you can do for tours if you have more than a half an acre you know have about an acre you can offer like a nature tour this means that you're just gonna walk them around the land and they can look at the plants and the birds and maybe they see a deer or a rabbit go by you know uh, animal sightseeing people really like this and you know and this is why the national parks are so popular because people just like to walk around and get in there with nature and just feel relaxed so you don't have to have anything special on your land you don't have to offer them anything special just here walk through my land you know and you're there with them on the tour and you're just showing them you know nice landscaping and people really enjoy that you can get twenty dollars to 75 even sometimes 150 dollars a person for these tours depending again on what you want to offer such as maybe you're doing a food tasting and uh, some kind of specialty thing on it you know you can charge more money I know this video said you'd make a hundred dollars a day from your backyard but you could also think of it some of these you make well over a hundred dollars maybe five hundred dollars a day option number three i i hope i didn't forget anything please leave a comment down below if i did and you have any more questions before i get into number three please subscribe if you're liking this video and hit the like button so i know that you guys are appreciating this kind of content and i can continue bringing you these kind of videos i number three would be if you have a land at least a half an acre to an acre or more is fantastic because you can rent this space out to farmers and you'd be surprised that farmers nearby your area they need more land they might have a hundred acres already but they need more so many times you can even just go to your neighbor if you're in the farm country already and ask them you know hey uh you needing some more area to maybe grow a grass crop or to graze your cattle and many oftentimes you'll find a yes and if you offer them a decent price, they'll they'll be rent, willing to rent your land just because it's nearby to them and they need some extra space. And you can usually make a contract with these farmers for six months to a year they're looking for to rent your land. So they'll pay a pretty nice price, easily $100 or more a month for this little bit of land. Minimum, if you have an acre, you're looking at from one acre, you can easily get $100 from a farmer per month. At number four, before I get into number four, you know, this Solar Girl Homestead is this channel and this has everything to do with homesteading and I feel that most people don't realize how they can make money on their homestead and that it's just, you know, for growing a garden, but it can be so much more than that and I feel that this information really needs to get out there and you should take advantage of what you have because you have a lot more than you realize. I do have a course on this that offers a lot more options and details. I did do a video on it earlier. You can look and there should be a link in the description if you're interested. Number four is photography. If you don't want anyone on your land, you don't feel comfortable sharing it or in law problems or anything, you can do your own photography. Now what I mean by this is you get a nice camera and if you have one already, that's fantastic. And you can just go on your land and take a million pictures of all kind of things. A bug on a leaf, the sunset, a, a branch, uh, how the water looks, um, a flower, it, all kinds of things. And you can sell these pictures for a very good price. You can make your own products with these pictures that you can sell on Etsy so many ways maybe we'll do a video on that please leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do a video on that you can also sell your pictures to picture places like pixel photo stock there are so many places for selling photography of this kind of thing you might think it's kind of stupid to sell photography that has a leaf on it but people really look and pay for these kind of pictures so 
this is something you could really get into and enjoy and make a ton of money on with just photos that you took from your backyard without anyone having to step foot on your property. I have a few bonus ways I'm gonna tell you about at the end of the video, so please make sure you stick around and watch the whole thing. Number five is sound recordings. Maybe you set up your camcorder outside on your tripod and just leave it on and let it be. And the sounds of nature, you know, the birds chirping, a cricket, frog, uh, the wind blowing, all these kind of sounds. You can just let it record and collect for you all these sounds and you can do so many things with this sound recordings. Please leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do a video on that. I'll give you a few things that you can do right here. Sound recordings, you yourself can take these sound recordings and make a YouTube channel that is a relaxing or motivational nature channel. And what you do is you just have a picture you can put for your background, maybe a nice outdoor nature scene. Doesn't even have to be a video or moving picture. And you have your sound running on top of it so you can hear all the sounds from your backyard. You can play this for an hour, a couple of hours, and there's your video. And upload this video on your channel and people really like to listen to just the sounds of nature because it is relaxing and many times people have a hard time falling asleep or just getting relaxed they're extra stressed out and they look and search for these kind of videos so this is a really easy one for you to put together and upload on your channel and if you can upload a few of these videos you know 15 or more a month try and do of these videos you can set yourself up for a really nice passive income from these relaxing videos on your channel and that's just one way that you can use these sound recordings now i want to share with you a bonus way very exciting kind of way that you can use your backyard is weddings Lots of people in the city like to do fancy weddings or have nice places. They look for places to have a wedding. Maybe you have a nice land with a clearing and some nice trees. Maybe you're by a lake. Who knows? Whatever your land is. Even if it's just a flat space, that's also good. Because <laughs> you can set up a flat space with nice tables and all the decorations and take some nice photos and really you can sell your backyard almost instantly just by taking some nice photo setup. Wedding places go for a lot. So you're looking at at least a thousand dollars or more depending on your location. And if you're really interested in making money from your backyard, this one is one to try. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments down below. I'd like to hear your feedback, which option you like better, what you'd like to hear some more on for my next video. And I hope that this is informative and that everyone starts using their homestead for more than just something to look at in a little garden. And please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time.